Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. A train has 11 passenger carriages numbered from 1 to 11. In any three consecutive passenger carriages, there are exactly 99 passengers. If there are 381 passengers in total, how many passengers are there in carriage number 9? I thank Victor for the suggestion. A version of this problem appeared on the kangaroo math exam for students aged roughly 12 to 13 years old. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. The train has 11 carriages for passengers. Write CI for the number of passengers in carriage I. There are 381 passengers in total, so the sum of the CIs is equal to 381. In any three consecutive passenger carriages, there are exactly 99 passengers. So C1 plus C2 plus C3 is equal to 99. Then C4 plus C5 plus C6 is equal to 99. Then C7 plus C8 plus C9 is equal to 99. We can substitute these in. The sum of 99, 99, and 99 is equal to 297. The equation then becomes 297 plus C10 plus C11 is equal to 381. Furthermore, we know that C9 plus C10 plus C11 is equal to 99. Subtracting the second equation from the first cancels the variables C10 and C11. This gives the following equation, 297 minus C9 is equal to 381 minus 99. We simplify this equation and solve for C9. We get C9 is equal to 15. So there are 15 passengers in carriage 9. So that's the solution to the question, but we want to make sure that it's not an impossible problem. So I just want to demonstrate there is a way to distribute the passengers that meets the original conditions. We know that C9 is equal to 15, and for symmetrical reasons, C3 is equal to 15. So we'll put these two quantities down. Then, let's say that C1 is equal to 44. Because any three passenger carriages have to have exactly 99 passengers, that means C2 is equal to 40. From there, we can just repeat this pattern. 44, 40, 15, 44, 40, 15, and finally we have 44 and 40. Now, 44 plus 40 plus 15 is equal to 99. So any three consecutive passenger carriages have a total of 99 passengers. And the sum of all these together is equal to 381. So we've demonstrated that some solution exists where any three consecutive passenger carriages have exactly 99 passengers, and the total number of passengers is equal to 381. Just to show a little more general solution, let's suppose that C1 is equal to x. Then C2 would be equal to 84 minus x, and we can just repeat this pattern. So we'll be able to demonstrate that all of these are solutions for any values of x, because any three consecutive passenger carriages will have a total of 99 passengers, and the total of all of these is equal to 381. So this is a more general solution. What an interesting question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.